Hey everyone, TJ here. Today we're going to adjust the valves on an air-cooled 911 using the Kirk Valve Lash Adjusting Tool. The Kirk Tool makes adjusting valves on an air-cooled Porsche engine simpler and faster. The Kirk Tool functions just like a feeler gauge but gives you a precise and repetitive adjustment measurement. Bottom line, it's more accurate and repeatable than a feeler gauge. So let's get to work. You will need the following. A paint marker, flat blade screwdriver, 13 millimeter open end wrench, 19 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter socket with an extension, 10 millimeter socket with an extension, 10 millimeter Allen, and a drain pan with a capacity of 15 quarts. For parts, you'll need a camshaft cover gasket kit, new nylon locking nuts for the exhaust camshaft covers, engine oil filter, and engine oil. You'll want the engine to be cold when adjusting valve lash. To prevent mixing up your plug wires, label each wire on the bank you're working on. It doesn't hurt to paint a mark on the distributor cap for cylinder one. Using that mark in the engine firing order, you could easily figure out your spark plug wire routing in the case of a mix-up. Begin by draining the engine oil. On our subject vehicle, we had to remove the distributor cap and wires, heat exchanger ducts, heat exchanger shroud, and the camshaft covers. Be sure to use a repair manual or see pelicanparts.com for an overview of this procedure. Before using the Kirk tool on our subject vehicle, let's take a look at how it works on the bench. On this rocker arm assembly, starting with the lock nut loose, let's assume we are already at the zero clearance position, meaning that the valve lash adjusting screw is gently bottomed out in the valve, so there will be zero clearance between the lifter and the top of the valve. Place the Kirk tool on the rocker arm, engage the tool post with the rocker arm beam. Loosen the lock knob and adjust the tool post until the Kirk tool drops into the slot and sits squarely on the adjustment screw. Tighten the lock knob. When using on an engine, this is the point where we would set the zero clearance, but let's assume we are already there. Rotate the pointer to align with the uninterrupted line on the adjustment knob. Rotate the adjustment knob counterclockwise to the 0.1 millimeter line. Tighten the rocker arm lock nut. For most engines, this adjustment will be sufficient for all valves. I'm going to show you how the Kirk tool works while using it on the intake and exhaust valves. By varying views during the procedure, you'll get an idea of how it works. Keep in mind, normally we would adjust the intake valve, then move to the exhaust valve. First, set the engine to top dead center or TDC on the compression stroke. On our subject vehicle, I'm using a 19 millimeter wrench to turn the engine over while watching the distributor rotor and cylinder one mark, as well as the TDC mark on the crankshaft pulley. I added a little yellow paint to the marks to make them easier to see. Let's start at the intake valve. Loosen the rocker arm adjusting screw lock nut a quarter turn. This gives the Kirk tool enough room to work. Once loose, leave your wrench in place on the lock nut. You'll need it there when tightening. Place the Kirk tool on the rocker arm, engage the tool post with the rocker arm beam. Loosen the lock knob and adjust the tool post until the Kirk tool drops into the slot and sits squarely on the adjustment screw. Tighten the lock knob. Rotate the adjustment knob clockwise until resistance is felt. This is the zero clearance condition. There is no need to over tighten. A snug finger tight torque is all that's needed. Without moving the adjustment knob, rotate the pointer so it aligns with the long uninterrupted line on the knob. The pointer is now aligned to the zero lash baseline mark. Next, rotate the adjustment knob counterclockwise to the 0.1 millimeter line. The proper 0.1 millimeter lash is now established. Counter hold the adjustment knob firmly and tighten the 13 millimeter locking nut. Do not over tighten it. For most engines, this adjustment will be sufficient for all valves. If the adjustment knob rotates during tightening, the adjustment will change. You'll want to loosen the lock nut and slightly overcompensate the 0.1 millimeter line of the adjustment knob so that when the nut is tightened, alignment of the 0.1 millimeter pointer is achieved.
And that's all it takes. Remove the Kirk tool and wrench from the engine. Check rocker arm for lateral movement. It should move side to side very slightly. A 0.1 millimeter clearance is difficult to feel, but some motion should be detected. Man, I love that tool. It's been fun. Hopefully I'll see you on the road. Until next time.